Guess what? It's trivia time. Here is your fifth question for the We're Still Here in Concert event coming up on April 14th. As a reminder, you only need to answer one question correctly to be entered into the drawing. What hiking trail location will host the 2024 Audio Checker hike on July 27th? Is it A, Royal Arch, B, Maroon Bells, C, Long's Peak, or D, Myers Gulch? If you think you have the right answer, email us at feedback at aftersight.org or call us at 720-712-8856 for your chance to enter and win two tickets to this amazing show. Good luck and thanks for playing. Welcome to Aftersight's quarterly newsletter. Featuring the latest Aftersight news and events, listener stories, programming updates, and more. Coming up next, only on Aftersight. Welcome to the Aftersight newsletter, winter 2024. My name is Brady Steffel. Happy belated holidays from the Aftersight team. That's right, Audio Information Network of Colorado is now officially Aftersight. In this edition, we have News from the executive director, a gift from Robert Weinberg. New programming news, new programming faces. Volunteers of the month, a story from our listeners. Executive update by Kim Ann Wardlow, executive director. Happy winter. We are now officially after sight, and we have been busy rebranding. We are excited to roll out our new name and our logo. We are so excited that we now offer Aftersight merchandise. See page six. Since the name change, our downloads of Aftersight Originals have increased more than 200%. We are honored to receive the photos and descriptive boards, including Braille from Robert Weinberg's exhibit, The World in Denver. It was displayed in 2023 at History Colorado. We will proudly display them in our office. Thank you, Bob. We are also honored to receive an Excellence in Employment First Recognition Award from Colorado Association of People Supporting Employment First. I will be accepting the award in February. Thank you to Scott Chaplick, who completed his second board term. He is a past board president and participated in our 2022 strategic planning process that led to our name change. Cindy Vaughn is Aftersight's current board president. We are looking for individuals to join this valued group to help guide our organization. Please contact me if interested. Stay warm. Kim. Bob Weinberg's Gift of Photography Robert Weinberg describes himself as one of the elders of Denver's blind community. He is also a celebrated photographer whose work has been featured in Intermountain Jewish News and exhibited in galleries. When he became legally blind in 1995 due to cone rod dystrophy, his photo career was disrupted. Bob became a listener, and he has been for three decades. He was also the first guest interviewed by Penn Street's After Sight podcast, now called The Blind Chick. He even exhibited photos at our concert in the dark in 2023. I am very impressed by the camaraderie in Denver's blind, low-vision community, he said. After Sight is part of it, with their online support groups, events, and podcasts. He wanted to do something for us. And because he re-engaged with this photography, he found the chance. In 2023, his collection, The World in Denver, was exhibited at the History Colorado Museum. This is a series of black and white portraits from the 1980s and 1990s that are accompanied by print and braille descriptions. As the exhibit came to a close last month, the museum asked him where they could deliver the prints. He chose Aftersight, and we are so grateful. Programming. 125 hours of content delivered weekly. In the top 25% national ranking for The Blind Chick and BLT, 387,000 downloads in one year. The Aftersight podcast has a new name, The Blind Chick. Join Penn and Moses as they propel you toward a life of strength, 
New episodes air every Thursday. New audio editions coming soon. Denver Westward, Mainliner, Montrose and Delta News, The Onion, and a fresh Spanish cooking show. Plus, don't miss our newest Outfront magazine every week. Are you into outdoor sports, traditional sports, or extreme sports and athletics? Aftersight is launching a sports podcast coming summer of 2024. Get up and get out. New Programming Volunteer Specialist A native Coloradan, Jennifer Neptune served in Costa Rica, Colombia, and Brazil for over 20 years as a missionary serving marginalized populations, presenting them with resources and opportunities to not only survive, but thrive in life. She returned to the States in 2021 and found jobs that would reach populations that needed care, connection, and support. Her hobbies are macrame and horseback riding. Introducing Aftersight merch. Support our mission and help us spread the word. Explore a wide range of products, including clothing. Show your support with comfortable tees, hoodies, and more. Accessories. Elevate style with AirPod cases, tote bags, pet bandanas, and more. Home and living. Decorate with stickers and sip in style with mugs and tumblers. Shop now and be part of our mission at aftersight.printify.me. Volunteers of the Quarter October VOM Nicola's journey is from leaving her corporate job in California to discovering her passion in voice acting. Today, her voice is behind the Thursday reading of The Daily Camera and Longmont Times Call. November VOM Ginger started as an in-person reader. Eventually, she moved to West Virginia, where Ginger continues to read as a remote reader. She has read The Colorado Sun and The Fort Collins Coloradoan every Wednesday for nearly six years. December VOM A retired architect, Tom, started as a volunteer in 2014 reading The Christian Science Monitor. He also joined our relocation community to share his architectural experience and to make sure we find a place that fits our needs. Tremendous. Listener stories. In memory of John Sepp, 1946 to 2023. Kim Singleton is one of Aftersight's newest listeners, but she's been involved in the blind and low vision community for a long time. In the 1970s, when Kim was just 21, she experienced two simultaneous retinal detachments. She's had retinal surgeries, scleral buckles, and one of the earliest vitrectomies performed in the western U.S. In 2024, Kim also lives with glaucoma and myopic degeneration of the retina. She also worked for the Center for People with Disabilities as part of their Beyond Vision program. With CPWD, she facilitated support groups in every town and neighborhood in the greater Denver Boulder area. She claims she had no experience related to that program when she applied, but she says she did have one important credential. I was their peer with significant vision loss. That said, before CPWD, she worked as a pharmaceutical tech and as a neurosciences nurse. She saw patients with extreme traumas and profound recoveries. Her background suited her role at CPWD perfectly. Kim is a model of self-care and awareness. She has a cat named Riley and a living room full of instruments. Music and sound therapy is woven into the fabric of daily life. She begins her morning by meditations to Tibetan singing bowls. I love having sound resonating through me, she says. I love the sound of drums. It's meditation inducing. And five years after leaving her CPWD job, she returned as a volunteer. She currently facilitates a Beyond Vision support group. Aftersight can be found at 1755th Street, Suite A, Boulder, Colorado, 80301. Our original and podcasts include The Blind Chick, Blind Level Tech, Blind Sight, Navigating Life with Vision Loss, and Volunteer Spotlight. Feedback lines are live. Have any questions or feedback for our podcast hosts? Drop us a line at feedback at aftersight.org or call us at 720 712 
We hope you've enjoyed listening to Aftersight's quarterly newsletter. If you have any questions or feedback, email feedback at aftersight.org or give us a call at 303-786-7777.